Hello, boys and girls. So good to be back with you again. We hope you all made your binoculars for our month of eye spying because we are going to spy some amazing things together. But, but I spy something unusual happening behind me. Hello, boys and girls. I'm here with my binoculars too. You are not Teacher June. No, but I'm Noah and I been missing all your kids and so I thought I'd come and help and say all the amazing things we can believe from the Bible. Well, I was eye spying at your house at our preschool picnic this week and that was a pretty cool rocket that your brother was showing us. Okay, I helped a little bit, <laughs> Good. but who knows what you'll be spying this week. I know from last week that we were asking to eye spy the, your Bibles to look for the true stories and others told about Jesus. We did. Noah, can you take this Bible just a little bit closer so we can remind everyone about who Jesus is? We remembered stories like Jesus healing someone who is sick, Jesus feeding lots and lots of people with a little bit of food, and then that time where Jesus calmed the scary storm. Those are really important stories written by people who were with Jesus when he did those incredible things. Yeah. They wrote them all down so that all people all over the world could read them in the Bible and believe that Jesus is really God's son. Noah, did you know that's our question and answer for this month? The question is, who can believe in Jesus? And I bet you know the answer. I've got it. I can believe in Jesus. Why don't we say that all together on the count of three? One, two, three. I can believe in Jesus. Wow, that was fantastic. Great job, everyone. Which leads us right into our new memory verse for the month. So let me remind you, just in case you've forgotten since last week, it goes like this, Noah. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, verse 31. Okay, are you all ready to say it? What about anyone who's in the room with you? Will everybody be ready at your house, Noah? You betcha. All right, here we go. I open, open, open God's book. I open, open, open and look. And I read, these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, verse 31. Well done, everyone. Teacher Carol, you know how you couldn't see me when I was in the tunnel? And then there I was. I know, you kind of scared me. It was a bit like our story today. Jesus went away for a while, but then Jesus surprised everyone and he came back. That's right. That's what we're going to do next. We're going to sing about the B-I-B-L-E and then we're going to look into it and discover the true story about how much Jesus loves us. And that's all found in the Bible. Ollie and his friends are coming up, but first let's stand and thank God for the B-I-B-L-E. The B-I-B-L-E. Yeah. 
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. friends, and welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy, and I had the best art project to work on today. But it's super windy outside, and something crazy just happened. The wind blew my circles all over the clubhouse, and now I need you to help me spy them all. Point when you see one. I spy with my little eye a circle that is blue and held by my cuddly friend. Do you see it? Yep, you're good. Hmm, what should I make with this one? It's blue, like water. Oh, I know. It's the whole world. That was fun, let's do another one. I spy with my little eye. <gasps> A circle that is brown, and wow, the wind blew it up high. Do you see it? Yes, you got it. Hmm, well, actually, this is kind of golden brown. Like my favorite food, nice and warm, right out of the oven. It's a pizza. On the count of three, shout out your favorite pizza toppings. One, two, three. Mm, those are so yummy. My favorites are pepperoni and peppers. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? Making tasty round treats, are you? There's so much fun stuff to make with circles. Crafting with circles is fun, it's true. I know a very special circle just for you. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Hello, friends. I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see today's special? <laughs> They're my whole lot of love cupcakes. I made them because today's story is about someone special who loves us so, so much. If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story. <laughs> Today's amazing true story is about someone very special who did something only he can do. If you think you know who this very special person is, I want you to shout out his name. Yes, Jesus. Jesus is the very special person and I am going to tell you about the most amazing thing he ever did that only he can do. God sent his son Jesus to show us how to love each other and to be our friend forever. Wait, where did the heart go? We might need to play I Spy to find it. Get out your pretend binoculars and let's look for it. Ready? Tell me when you see the heart. I spy with my little eye. A heart! And look, it's showing us that Jesus taught us how to love others by being a good friend. Wait, where did it go? Let's look for it. Ready? I spy with my little eye. The heart! Right there! <laughs> Good job, everyone! And look, 
The heart is showing us that Jesus was a good friend to people who were different than him. <laughs> Not again. Where did it go now? Let's look for it. Ready? I spy with my little eye. <gasps> the heart! <laughs> it's showing us that Jesus was a good friend to everyone, even people who made bad choices. Jesus was a friend to everyone. One day, a very sad thing happened. Some angry people took Jesus away and hurt him so bad that he died. Jesus' friends buried him in a tomb and rolled a big stone in front of it. Jesus was gone and his friends were very, very sad. But on the third day, Jesus did something that only Jesus can do. Jesus came back. <laughs> Jesus is alive. Yes, Jesus is alive. Say that with me. Jesus is alive. One more time. <laughs> Jesus is alive. We know Jesus is alive because people saw him and talked with him. Then they wrote all about it so we can know and believe that Jesus is alive. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> oh, hey, Ollie, tell me. Who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is alive. And he's a friend forever to you and me, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, what a great story. Jesus wants to be a friend to everyone. That means Jesus wants to be my friend, and he wants to be your friend, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I spy with my little eye a circle that is gray and right behind me. I'm going to paint this so it looks just like the stone that was in front of Jesus' tomb. The stone got rolled away because Jesus is alive. I loved that story. It shows us that Jesus is a very special and amazing person. So, let's I spy more things that we know about Jesus. Are you ready to help us, Noah? I got my binoculars. Well, they're really teacher Jude's, but I'm set. I think she'll let you borrow them. We have some hearts hidden around here today, Noah, so I want you to I spy with your little eye and your binoculars and spy them out. Are you ready? I'm ready, and boys and girls, if you forgot your binoculars, just pretend to make some with your hand, just like these. The perfect shape for love is a red mm. heart. There you go. It reminds us that God sent his son because he loved the whole world. You found it, Noah. I found the red heart. I saw a couple others on the way, but the red heart reminds, it, reminds me too that Jesus came to teach us how to love each other. But wait, there is more. Get your binoculars ready. I spy with my little eye a heart the color of sunshine. That must, be, that must mean that it is a yellow heart. Let's look, everyone. When the sunshine is out, everything looks good and different and beautiful. Jesus loves everyone, no matter what, and he came to be a good friend who looked for the good, the different, and the beautiful in everyone. Great work, team. That was on a bunny, wasn't it? Weird. Okay, we've got one more. I spy with my little eye a heart that's the color of the sky. Okay, kind of rhyming. Well, the sky is not green, so it must be blue. All right, are you looking? Ah, found it. Good. When you've made a wrong choice and you know it, you might feel a little blue. And that's another thing that Jesus taught us. He was a good friend to everyone, even when people made wrong choices. And that's what the blue heart reminds us about. Yes, Jesus loves everyone, and he showed us how to be a friend to everyone. 
So even though Jesus loved everyone, some angry people hurt Jesus so badly that he died. Jesus' friends buried him in a tomb and they were very sad. But that's not the end of the story, is it? No. No way. On the third day, count with me. One, two, three. Jesus came back. And it was the most amazing thing that Jesus could, did. And only he could do. When Jesus came back, he went to his friends so they could see he is alive. And then those friends told other people, and they told other people, and they told other people, and then some of those people wrote stories about seeing Jesus alive. It was amazing. So when we ask you, who can believe in Jesus? You know the answer, boys and girls. Let's say it together one more time. I can believe in Jesus. Boys and girls, that was so much fun playing I Spy with you. But before we finish up today, let's close our eyes and talk to God together. Open, shut them, give a little clap. Good job. Open, shut them, open, shut them, lay them in your lap. Everybody close your eyes, bow your head, because we're going to talk to God. Dear God, dear God, thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you for sending Jesus. To be our friend forever. To be our friend forever. Thank you that he came back. Thank you that he came back. And that we can believe in him. That we can believe in him. Help us to love everyone. Help us to love everyone. Just like Jesus did. Just like Jesus did. We love you, God. We love you, God. And all God's kids said, Amen. Amen. Teacher Carol, I, I don't think that the I Spy game isn't done yet. We have a coloring page today. There it is. It reminds us that Jesus is alive. It has five things Five things that you need to look for. And boys and girls, have you ever made your very own book? Well, Noah's gonna show us how to do it. You're gonna print this off with the help of mom and dad. You can color it and you can fold it into two pieces first and then four pieces. And then you have it, your very own book. Speaking of books, we have story time at 6.45 on Thursday night. Teacher June and her granddaughter Sophie read us a book all the way from Saskatchewan. That's amazing. And don't forget, we'll do more stories and I spying at our preschool picnic Zoom call this week. Wonder what I'll find at your house on Thursday. Remember boys and girls, every week on Tuesday and Thursday at 10.30, we'd love to see you all. If you miss our stories, come back and find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Trinity Kids Kelowna. We're there waiting for you, and don't forget to make your binoculars for next week. I spy you! Bye-bye, guys. Bye.